Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to take you through how I design and create this recipe card mini album. It uses a doodle bug collection and it uh, has pockets so that you can place recipe cards in, but they're easily removable so that you can take them into the kitchen and um, use them while you're cooking. If you're interested in other mini album tutorials or handmade cards, please subscribe to my channel. At the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full flip through of this mini album. So to get started on this recipe card album, we are going to use the Doodle Bug Designs Made With Love 12 by 12 paper pack. Now we are going to choose from our paper pack uh, 12 different pages that are six by seven and a half. And so as you're going through and sorting through a lot of the pages you can use, um, because this is 12 inch, you can use it uh, each sheet for two pages if you like. Um, we're going to have 11 regular pages. One will include the back and then another for the cover. Okay, I sorted through the paper pack and decided what I want for my pages and my uh, cover. So we need 12 sheets that are six by seven and a half inches. This, um, so if you have a orientation to your sheet, you want the top to bottom, north to south to be six inches, and then east to west will be seven and a half inches. Since um, potentially I can get two out of this sheet at six inches, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the seven and a half um, first. I'm not sure if it shows up, but this does have an orientation because it has some pretty light images there of the um, different items that are throughout the pack, the mixer and the bowl and the different ingredients. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut at seven and a half. Measure twice. Okay, and so now I have seven and a half by 12, and so I can cut this at six, and if I was so inclined, I could use this for two different sheets of the book. That's right, that's right. So, I'm gonna grab my scoreboard and show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, I've got my sheet cut to six inches by seven and a half inches, and this is pretty simple. We are going to first um, score at, see here, one half inch. So you have your orientation this way, north to south, that's the six inch side, this is a seven and a half inch side, and we are just gonna score at one half inch. I'm gonna come around this way because I like to be awkward, and use the other side of this tool. Okay, so that's the side, that's where it's gonna bend. Now we're gonna go ahead and swing it around so that the bend is here. And I'm gonna score it at one and a half inches from the bottom. So one and one half inches from the bottom. That is not even right. So I'll try it again. Okay. So. Here we have the score, and here we have the other score. So you see, we just have a little pocket, and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue here, we're gonna glue here, and this section will be glued to the page on top, so we'll have multi multiple pages. Um, so I do have, uh, another sheet just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. 
You can actually do it probably this way. No, nope, let's do it this way. So again, seven and a half inch side, six inch side, north to south. That's your orientation. So top here, bottom here. And I'm going to go ahead and score it a half an inch. And then I'm going to swing it around and one and a half inches again. So for this project, the difference between um, the cover and the sheets is that so we're going to have a binding here, essentially, because they're going to be uh, glued together. This one, the front cover is cut the same. It's scored the same. Only you fold the front back rather than forward. In that way, we're going to get an extra recipe card in this pocket here or whatever you want to put there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the other 10 sheets and get them cut and scored up and we'll be ready to go. Okay, I have my 12 pieces of six by seven and a half paper, and they are scored at the bottom and folded under. So for the first one, I did take the page and I folded it back this way. I want this to be the cover of my book. And if I open it up like a book, the rest of them are folded up this way. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each page and I'm going to put a little bead of glue down this side here to make a little pocket. And, um, and I might go ahead and round the corners. I haven't decided yet. But once I decide that, whether I do that or not, I'm going to go ahead and use this front pa page and eyeball to holes, one probably about an inch up from the bottom and one in an inch from the top, and uh, poke holes and use it as a guide for the rest of the holes and we'll be ready to get our book put together. Okay, so I did decide to round the corners of my book pages. Then as I was going to glue, I realized that um, I'm going to want to, I think, round the corner on the inside page. So for this page, which is the front cover, I'm going to do it on the left hand side and all of the others will do it on the right hand side. This one will be bound on the inside, so I don't need to um, round this one. And I'll go ahead and glue that up. Okay. This one, again, is gonna be part of the binding, so I don't need to glue it. I am gonna go ahead and figure out where the holes are gonna be. So I went ahead and grabbed my pencil, and I think I want the holes to be about an inch up from the bottom and an inch down from the top. I am just kind of using my um, mat here as my guide. So one inch in is about here and one inch from the top, of course, using this far end as measure, not this rounded end. So an inch in would be right about here. I'll get those punched. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and round the corners of all of these guys including this corner here and I will uh, get the sides glued down and get the holes punched and I'll be back. Okay so you see that I got all of my pages scored and all of the outside 
flaps glued where the pockets are. And then I also uh, punched the holes and then I strung this um, twine through. This is the doodle bug twine and it um, is smaller than some other twines that I had. So I ended up kind of looping it through there twice. I don't know if you can see that. But um, I haven't tied it yet because I want to kind of give it um, a once over, get this decorated a little bit, put some recipe cards in it and see how thick it'll be before I tie it really tight. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take the stickers from the paper pack, the doodle bugs made with love pack, and I'm going to also um, rifle through this book of recipe cards. And I'll probably just pull out the, the front cards. We have 11 pages. I think we have 12 pockets. So I think we can fit two recipe cards per pocket in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pull out the front 24 pages of this thing and, um, and carefully so I don't rip them. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put those in the pockets. And then I'm going to get to decorating. I figured I'd put the recipe cards in the pockets. I don't want to put super cute stuff in here to decorate it from the paper pack and the sticker book and all of that. Or the sticker pack page. Jeez. <laughs> and, um, and it get covered up by the recipe uh, cards. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to start decorating. I really feel like I'm going to cut or tear these. Nah. No, these are just falling out now. So this book of recipe cards is pretty substantial. It has 36 cards in it. Now our book has um, 20 or has 12 pockets. So the front cover and 11 pages, and I'm gonna go ahead and put two recipe cards in each pocket. So total of 24. These cards have a place for the recipe title. It says, it says from the kitchen of, a list of ingredients, and it has a place for the year. And then on the back side, it has a section where you can put the directions. So like I said, I'm gonna put two in each page and uh, so I can kind of gauge how thick this book is gonna be. I have my two doodle pops here that I kind of wanna hoard. <laughs> so we'll see if I end up using them. But otherwise, I am just going to go ahead and uh, use the sticker sheet and the cut aparts and decorate the book a little bit. Of course, if you're following along, you're going to want to decorate yours however you want. The reason I chose this page for the cover is because lately I've been doing super busy covers on my mini albums. And it makes it hard for me to feel like I can decorate them a lot. So I used a sort of plain cover this time and we'll see uh, what it looks like when I'm done.
So I've got my book and realized that I didn't really score. I mean, I scored the pages here where the hinge should be, but I didn't really um, fold and burnish them, score them. So I'm doing that now and there's some, the twine is already in it, but I'm just kind of doing my best here um, so that when we open the pages, once it's actually bound tight, because it's not, uh, I haven't tied it off yet, um, the pages will bend smoothly. So I'm just kind of separating it here, which is not the ideal way to do this, but I think it's going to work. And they already, they are already scored. It's just kind of getting a bone folder in there and uh, getting it creased down really well. Whoop. I don't usually, let's see. I think I wanted to see what the twine looked like, so I put the twine in a little too early. I, I should have started um, started decorating the pages before. So my stepson just knocked on the door asking if he could walk over to his friend's house. He's 13 and so when he leaves I tell him that I love him and to make good choices. Sometimes I switch it up and I, I just say, okay be nice to everybody. This is not, I think I was making those first couple pages more difficult than it needed to be because this is working out pretty well. Also, how cute are these mixers? I can't handle it. Every page, uh, every other page I was like, oh, I want to keep this piece of paper. But then I'm one of those people that has that, uh, one of those people. I am uh, someone who hoards their paper, never uses it, and then I realize, okay, people like myself or someone else can really enjoy the paper and look at it if I actually use it on a project and don't just shove it in a bin in the craft room. So this is interesting. These are chocolate chips, and they all have smiley faces on them. And so there's also a border here somewhere that we'll come across that also has the uh, chocolate chips on it. Let's see where that comes up. Like these don't look perfect, but the, the book is gonna close and be tight anyway. And so I just want these pages to move. Let's see here. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, maybe I didn't use that. Probably did. So, all right, so now I am going to um, finish decorating. I'm going to do the cover gonna flip through add some of these stickers I have this entire sticker sheet that um, that I have at my disposal well except for this one little piece and um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I did uh, keep a couple pieces like this the strips of the cardstock and I think I have enough to make a set of cards at the end so I'm gonna keep some of the stickers, I mean, but there's a ton of stickers here, so I can use them all up. Excuse me. So that goal is to, um, to use up the entire 
collection with this book and the um, and the few cards I'll be able to make that I planned on making now. So. And what I think is so it'll be underneath the um just see my fat head. Um it'll be underneath the twine. That's okay. And I don't know exactly how I'm kind of using these guys these guys, these uh, images to kind of straighten it, but it's not gonna be perfect and I'm not really too worried about it. So there's that. And I guess I'm not gonna burnish it down too hard because you never know what's gonna happen next. There's that. I'm gonna put this back on the sheet and use that for something else. I have these two. Let's see. I think I'm going to put these two on this side here somewhere. And then this baked with love here. I need some little something else though. Let me figure out what that is. That's it. I still like this thing. I'll just put it across the top. This definitely would be easier if it didn't have the twine and wasn't stuck together. I think that's it. Yep, yep, I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over so maybe I can see. And I'm not getting out a ruler, so it's just gonna end up where it ends up. I'm just kind of, like I said, using these images like I did here to line it up. However, let's see. That seems about right to me. I think if it's a little crooked, we'll survive it. And then these guys are kind of sitting there, but they're not really stuck down yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to burnish this down a little bit. Now, if I was worried that this was gonna get a lot of use, I would probably put some glue underneath these uh, stickers that are on the cover. But um, I think with a book that has recipe cards in it, maybe you will uh, grab a card out of it, but you're not gonna be opening and closing it and, and working with it a lot, so. Hmm. This way, this one, that way. Hmm. <laughs> Just overthinking it. There we go. And yeah. 
put it up here. Hmm. There's like part of me that wants to do it this way. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. There we go. Bees. <laughs> That's not coming. There we go. Got it. I'm going to put this back on the sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the decorating with the sticker sheet and these last two um, cut aparts and then we'll be done. And so these, of course, depending on who this goes to, could be used as um, photo mats or journaling cards, or, and I'm not even gonna, you know, do anything else with them. The uh, cut aparts generally come with a pattern on the back that um, serves by itself, so. So I'm about to tie this, and I'm going to tie it pretty tight. Um, obviously, we're going to be able to see the difference in the spine and the where I have all this stuff in the pockets, and but um, but that's fine. And let's see here. 
So I'm going to do it now, but I have this feeling that I might also uh, be interested in redoing it. So let me get this tied down and see what it ends up looking like. And then we'll decide. Um... I don't even know if I'm in frame right now, so that's cool. Kind of. Let's see here. Pull it tight this way. There's a way to do this that I don't know. I'm going to tie a knot right here. I feel like it is as tight as it's going to get. Put this pressure on here. Just, oh. Oh. So strong. <laughs> so no, I'm not sure about this. It's obviously way too long, so I do something with it. I don't know if a bow is the right thing. Maybe I'll put um, another piece of ribbon or something here, or maybe a charm. Let me see what I've got. I do keep a lot of things. I have a, um, a CD case, old school, right? That, um, so it looks like a bookcase, but it's really shallow. And in that case, I keep a lot of glass jars with my uh, craft supplies in it. They're easy to see, easy to grab. There's not a lot of room, so I can't like pile things in front. So it's very one-handed and easy access. So let's see. I've got my little charms here. Got some peace signs, of course. These are little banners that say peace, buckles or something. These say drink me, which is very Alice in Wonderland. However, they still kind of fit with a food theme. And Oh, I don't know how I would even get those on there. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> and then I have some of these. Are they for rubber or for um, loom bands? And I think I uh, bought them on clearance. They're pretty cute and I never knew what I was going to use them for. But maybe this is what I should use them for. So I want this larger one in the back, right? Got it backwards, pushing it through the back. That was easier than I thought it would be. Now how do I tie it? 
because this obviously needs to be able to move a little bit. I'm just going to tie it in another knot. There we go, folks. I think it's all done. I'm going to clean up my table and we'll do a quick walkthrough. Okay, let's walk through it. Here, you see, I went ahead and tied the twine and put a couple of peace sign charms here. Just a, a big one and a little one. I didn't really have anything that was food related. Um, but I feel like you can't go wrong with a little peace sign charm. So I tied that pretty tight. So you can see that it's all kind of tied down here. And we have our pages. And let's see how it looks. You see, I some of these um, pockets I ended up putting two cards in. And there are 12 cards left in the uh, recipe card book that I got, the um, the one from Doodlebug. So at this point, I feel like it can't hurt to uh, put these cards in here um, and fill up this book. So I'll probably do that once we're done. So this says, you bake me happy. This is one of those strips here that I kind of struggled with getting the card underneath, but I'm sure that, uh, you know, once it's in there for a minute or two, it will uh, be just fine. And the card will go in and out of there. Um, I, I kind of wanted to do something that would allow these little images on the recipe cards to show when you're flipping through. So that worked out uh, pretty well, I think. Um, here's another. These little pockets I put in here are these little um, cut aparts I put. You're the sweetest. You're so great. This one, of course, is my favorite. My favorite image on the recipe cards. Put it in here with this one. Better than ever. How cute is that? So we have a whisk and um, some flowers here. They Neither of them have little sentiments on it, but that's okay. I really... Uh, I really like these flowers. Now I want to keep this one. cupcakes on the back of here and just went ahead and sprinkled some more tags and stickers we are excellent together and you bake me happy whatever kind of cake that is I think it's it's I'm gonna go with it strawberry because it has a strawberry on top <laughs> and I want some of that now so you've got the uh, boy and girl egg and then the little baby eggs over here I don't know if I planned that or not. Um, this was a, just a big blank piece of uh, card, but I just put this little sticker here to point at this recipe card and called it good. Uh, this one says, so happy together. Here are the uh, spoons and forks. So they have the uh, spoons and uh, mixing spoons behind them. 
This one says chocolate. They thought it broke up that color in a tiny little corner. Here's another great pun. You are the greatest. This card just barely fits here, but I'm leaving it. Here is the flower canisters. You are Pyfect. This is the one where I uh, made the glue mistake, so I covered the two errors up with the uh, stickers. And this is another one of those where it just kind of slides through. This one says, especially for you, so happy together. I have pies for you. Your one smart cookie. And that's the end. I'll probably have to go and put a little bit of glue down behind this guy. But thanks for watching my video. And uh, if you subscribe to my channel the and click the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks, bye.